And just a day after President Biden issued an executive order targeting violent Israeli settlers in the West Bank, Canada is considering sanctions of its own, as the prime minister called on Israel to do more to stem the rising violence against Palestinians. CTV's Kevin Gallagher reports. Violent clashes are on the rise between Israeli settlers and Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. <laughs> Palestinian Fathi Abu Amar says settlers are killing our children before our eyes, and we cannot do a thing. Since the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel, the UN says Jewish settlers carried out nearly 500 attacks on Palestinians, killing at least eight. With the Israeli government being accused of inaction, the Prime Minister says Canada is considering sanctions. We are looking into uh, how to make sure that those responsible uh, for extremist violence or extremist settler violence in, uh, in the West Bank uh, are held to account for it. Uh, we are looking at uh, sanctions on extremist settlers. U.S. President Joe Biden issued an executive order yesterday barring four Israeli settlers access to America's financial system and froze their bank accounts over allegations of violence. This West Bank settlement mayor says it's up to Israel to prosecute its own citizens. It is surprising that the president decided to finger point at the small extreme group of Jews who are acting violently, who are treated by the Israeli law enforcement and ignoring Palestinian violence who has been killing thousands of Jews. Palestinians hope the West Bank will become a future state, but some 500,000 Jewish settlers now live there in violation of international law. Far-right Israeli National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir has encouraged settlers to carry guns and wants to expand these Jewish communities into Gaza. Canada has condemned Ben Gavir's provocative call. Today, Prime Minister Trudeau warned settler violence threatens hope of a two-state solution. Heather? Kevin, thank you.